Concerned Nigerians for Pro-Democracy and Human Rights Group have called on President Muhammad Buhari and the Kaduna State Governor Nasser Arafat to end the killings on Southern, in Southern Kaduna or resign as President and Governor. The group, in a press statement made available to journalists, say the continued attacks, killing and maiming of Southern Kaduna people from suspected headsmen without any meaningful intervention from the federal and state government was shocking and despicable. The group's convener, Deji Adeoju, expressed his deep condolences to families of the victims and prayed to God to rest your soul in peace. To discuss development in Southern Kaduna, we're joined by Reverend Polycap Baja, a clergy there. Thank you very much for joining us. Please take us through the historical injustices in terms of the killings that has occurred in Southern Kaduna. Thank you very much. In the first place, you know, um, there, there, was some, there was a hiding and a heightening of this. They have gone on for probably over a decade or two in Kaduna. But from around 2013 and 2014, we see a different turn that was completely, completely different from what had happened before. In a space of just about 12 months, uh, in, in 2014, we, we saw 15 uh, horrific massacres between Kujama and Sangha local governments. In Sangha local government alone, for instance, on the 22nd to 23rd, in a period of just 24 hours, you had about 200 people massacred terribly and very, very gruesomely. And from then on, you move to different parts of this. So in that short period uh, of, 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 20, of, of 12, we, 12 months, we saw 15 massacres with over 1,000 people that were killed. And it continued right until 2016. What was surprising, and I remember watching uh, an interview with the president then by Christian Amampo, and we were all in confusion what was happening. Why were the people being attacked in such a manner, in such gruesome manner? It wasn't just that people were killed. They were literally hacked to bits. And what we saw was a most gruesome manner that was completely, completely out of phase with what we all know in the 20th or the 21st century. We'd never seen any such such magnitude of gruesomeness. And yet we did not see a commensurate move by government to stop this mayhem that was happening. By 2016, I remember watching on the 13th of May, an interview by Christian Amon Paul on the president. And uh, he informed uh, that interview that um, uh, about 10 countries uh, we, 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 saw, we saw a movement of people coming into Nigeria from 10 different places. And um, the surprising thing was that there was no question to ask what the president was doing about that. How could a region in the Middle Belt, they cross over the border states in the north and people came in from the Sahel and massacred the people in Nigeria and it continued for years and we saw nothing really commensurate to match that horrific attack on the people. And remember 2016, you saw a different face of it entirely, from Godogodo to Gidamwaya, to different parts of Kaura, and right down to Kujama and Kajuri areas and Chukun local government. We saw things that were unbelievable. What the, is the, the interpretation the being given to these acts? And, I mean, why is it so persistent? What is defiling a solution? To these issues i think that you know the government has not really made an intention a political willful plan to deal with the matter it's clearly a breach of security it doesn't matter why people kill or who they are once they take the lives of people it is the duty the sworn duty the primary duty of government to come in and to secure the life, the property, and the opportunities of its people. We have not seen this. Nigeria is 200 million people strong. We have one of the most reputable armies in Africa. Nigeria went to Liberia, to Ivory Coast, to the Congo, to Somalia. How is it that when its own people were being massacred, the Nigerian government did not rise up to it? 
it is disquieting, it is confusing, it is disheartening, and it is inexcusable. You, you I think the federal before. government is best oh, the uh, people to answer this question, but right, clearly what we have seen is that there has been a lack of will to challenge because it is not a lack of capacity. We have the capacity, we have the requisite intelligence units, we have military, para paramilitary, we have the police in Nigeria, and even if the numbers are not enough, out of a pool of 200 million Nigerians, we shouldn't be talking about. Okay, you, 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 you stood before the UN General Assembly and also before the US government to raise the issues of the killings in Southern Kaduna. Regrettably, it has not gotten so much of the attention uh, needed. Um, what are you most hopeful about the recent uh, development where we had women, you know, go out on the streets naked to express the pain in their hearts? First, it's a shame on Nigeria that women have to do this. It's a shame that a country that has capacity has refused to rise up to it. In actual fact, I will tell you, it is criminal. It's a crime against the humanity. It's a crime against the people of Southern Kaduna. It's a crime against them that they are being massacred. And there is no tenable excuse. There is no tenable reason that government we can see offer for not protecting them. They are not allowed to defend themselves. So they are left. And even in this period like this, we can see that they all happened after the enactment of a 24-hour curfew. You would expect that the government is that the, 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 the Nigerian government should have risen up to its duty. The government, the president, the governor, they should have risen up to the demands of their office because there is capacity in this country to do that. But they have failed to do it. And that is very, very sad. Quite unfortunate. We still um, stay positive that a solution will be found. Thank you very much for the work that you do, and please keep safe. Thank you very much.